So the reason uh, why we are here with Swarm City is uh, because we are very much interested in uh, scaling solutions uh, because we want to launch our um, app as soon as possible and uh, we need a lot of transactions if we're uh, going to be successful. Um, and so yeah, we're constantly on the lookout for um, solutions to, to scale Ethereum so it can handle uh, our potential future traffic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're looking into solutions where we can uh, sort of reuse most of our uh, the parts of our application. Uh, so therefore, we're looking at side chaining. So we're uh, trying to build a bridge, or we have built a prototype of a bridge that bridges our uh, Swarm City token, which is an ERC20 token, uh, to an ERC777 token, which is launching in a few hours now. Um, so. Uh, that's uh, what we've uh, like, what we've built, and we are going to try to use that to move our DAP over to a side chain, and uh, yeah, use the scalability over there because we imagine that even if our project is successful enough, it wouldn't clog the side chain. Um, so we can set up our own consortium if we want uh, on the side chain. So that's, I think, the the main goal for us to be. Yeah. And I think also Swarm City, we, we we tend to kind of collaborate or inspire each other, like with Giveit and uh, Swarm City. And uh, yeah, because you guys really took the lead uh, in, in in finding scaling solutions and bringing all these people together. Um, yeah, we really had to be here, right? To to you know add any value or to just even if it's just like a moral support for you guys. Um, yeah. Yeah, I also think it's great to have all people together here because it's really a, a perfect roundup moment, so to speak, but to get this, the current state of all these different projects and to really evaluate what's like the best solution for a dApp. So be it uh, sharding, be it uh, like uh, uh, state channels, or be it like side chaining. So uh, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, for me that uh, would uh, definitely be the the Truebit solution. I, it's it's so elegant what uh, what they've come up with. Um, so I think that has a lot of potential because I think there's even a possibility to like sort of run state channels inside of that uh, those Truebit uh, Wasm assembly. So I think it says that's a very good idea to uh, to do it like that. On the other hand, what I was um, sort of surprised with is that there's so little. Um, like really peer-to-peer -peer signaling in these state channels. So I would have assumed that a lot of the solution that we saw the last two days uh, would have been more about how to connect the individual users of the, of the different dApps and have them interact and like uh, swap out new states and all that. Uh, and I see that a lot of uh, the most solution I've heard of, they use like a still centralized system like a REST API or whatnot. Uh, so they still sort of rely on, on centralized aspects and uh, yeah, that's my, my take on, this, on the things. Uh, to me, the most interesting thing to see here is actually that, mm, that we can show the community that there's not one solution and um, that there's actually like in a true decentralized way, lots of teams are working on lots of different things and I think it, that's the inspiring thing that you can, you can actually get inspired by what these guys are doing or these, even if it's like a totally different solution, still there will be elements in there that you then can use in other, uh, in other scaling solutions too. Mm, so getting all these people together with different visions on how to do it, um, I don't know, it, it, it gives me a lot of confidence, right? Uh, th that, that we will actually do it, like all of us, we will actually find solutions that really work to, to scale it like temporarily or maybe even like on a, um, how do you say that, like a mid-term uh, kind of uh, 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 um, time range. Yeah. What I also find amazing still is that and like these two days have been a like new manifest of that is that there's so much collaboration and like open participation between all these projects. It's not like it's not a hostile environment, not like a competing environment, but it's like a collaborative environment and that's what I love about the Ethereum community. It's family. Yeah, true. So, I'll, I'll, I'll just start. Um, so ideally, of course, in, in, a, in, a, in a couple of X time, uh, Ethereum just does what we need it to do. Um, in the short, in the, in the short uh, term, we really try to come up with a solution as quickly as possible, even though we know it's, it's maybe we will change it next week or in two weeks or in a month, but we, we really want to get this started and we, we really need this now. Um, 
how the future, what the future will look like, it's, it's very hard for me at least to say. Um, um, yeah, hopefully Ethereum will scale, uh, but I can also see a future where where like uh, side chaining will become sort of a new paradigm, and where the mainnet will become a, a sort of a vault, like a, the where you store the real real value. Um, so I don't know. The mainnet could become like a, a Bitcoin uh, as a figure of speech, right? Uh, where only side chains could become like a, um, like um, how do you say that? Like faster networks, to, to, but to do less valuable things or less tr trustworthy things. Um, yeah. Yeah. What I'm uh, hoping to get from uh, from all of this in the longer term is that uh, different projects will come up with uh, sort of like the building blocks. So compared to like uh, Solidity libraries that people are now writing. Uh, so small units of, of functionality that are very well tested and audited and stuff. Um, and that like for your projects or the specific use case you have that you can just yeah, pick and choose some of these components and sort of roll your own state channel specific for the use case that you need it for. Uh, because I, I, f I, I have some doubts that the very generic approaches will be like the optimal solutions for specific dApps. So I think if you would come to a situation where everybody can roll their own with like a, a bunch of safe components which you cherry pick from uh, all the different solutions, uh, then you, yeah, you might achieve a very good like tailor-made solution, but uh, which is guaranteed to be safe. Yeah, I think you you touch you touch on a really uh, good point. Instead of trying to do it as generic as possible, um, or do it really custom, if you do it modular, um, then 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 we then then any project could yeah, like you said, like customize its, its own solution. I think it's important that we look at it that way, like do it modular um, and not like uh, very generic or very specific. Um, just cr it's like how we do Swarm City, right? Just create components, and these components can always be reshuffled um, to do other things. Yeah, yeah sure. RSK? Yeah, so you have a direct path from Bitcoin. RSK is not safe anymore, right? Is RSK still safe? What do you mean? What, what, do, you, what do you mean exactly? Uh, Rootstock, the... Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about the encryption thing. Yeah. That's really te that's too, way too technical for me. Yeah, you came up with the idea, so now I should... Well, what idea? You have like uh, that Ethereum with like the default and then... Yeah. Yeah, no, I me I just meant that as, a, as like, I'm, I'm always talking conceptually, right? I don't mean literally like it should behave like Bitcoin or anything. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, so next question. Uh, could you just uh, talk about how you got the organization of the event wise? How you think that is compared to uh, more closer things to conferences? What do you like about that? What do you didn't like about yeah, that? Yeah, definitely. Sure. sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the amazing thing is to me that is that is it's not a conference, right? It's 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 uh, but it's it's also not a gathering of friends. Uh, it's something in between, and and very organically it, it grew into a, what you would call like a mini conference or a, a summit is probably the best word. But even then, a summit sounds so officially. To me, it just feels like, hey guys, uh, why don't we all meet in Barcelona and talk about this subject? Um, we'll figure out all the, all the rest. So, but it feels like very mm, self-organized to me. But I know there are like uh, many people um, that are actually um, working on this thing and 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 have organized it. But still, it it still feels like very free and and very you know I can do whatever I want here and 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 work on whatever I want. So um, yeah, I just love it. The food and the and the and the drinks are just. Phenomenal. I mean, I feel like uh, we were working here and, and we got fed all the, you know, like every every moment I'm, I'm looking next to my computer, there's like, a, uh, I don't know, croquetas uh, and then there's like sausages and it's, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, the thing that, that amazes me every time in this kind of events is that uh, by just putting a bunch of people together on, a, on the same subject, uh, these synergies start to, to appear I mean they, they just happen so you don't even have to have like a, a very strict program or a very strict set of uh, 
interviews. So I just came here. I, I didn't know what the schedule was. Maybe it was somewhere in, a, in an obscure document somewhere. But it was like that was not the, the, the meaning or my reason to come here. It was just to meet people and like yeah, talk about different solutions and then yeah, just ping pong these ideas and then yeah, better things come out of that. So I think the format is great. Uh, Probably not all conferences should have this format, but I think, uh, yeah, also the sort of the pragmatism. So there's like a pl there's a problem. Let's just take an initiative to bring some people together and to debate about the problem and try to find solutions. I, I think that's a very pragmatic approach to solving a problem. Yeah.